Ahoy, this is Zdenka. These are all accessories I have in the studio for smartphone filmmaking and photography. Lots of you are asking what filter, lenses, microphone, tripod, gimbal I'm using or what is the best. I would like to stay away from the word best because what is best for me might not be best for you or your smartphone. You might like handheld filming with heavy setup. I prefer very lightweight setup with minimal gear and I like to use gimbals. The best approach will be explaining why I like or don't like that item. So you can then make your own decisions if this is something suitable for you. Just a friendly disclaimer, nobody is sponsoring today's video. Half of the items you will see I purchased myself. I'm not trying to sell anything to anyone. This video is just to answer all those questions asked below the videos in a comment section so I can then return back to creative videos and tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. My phone is iPhone 14 Pro. However, many of those accessories also work with Android phones. You only need to get an appropriate case for them or mounting adapter. Half of the accessories I have reviewed in the past, I'll link those videos below. Lots of these accessories are however new. No need to take a note. I'm going to link all those items below the video in a video description. Many of you are asking why I'm always filming with an iPhone and I don't film with Android. Very simply, I invested in this phone and many accessories you see here. I don't have access to the latest Androids. I don't have the budget to buy them. And the iPhone is simply the most compatible, making my work way easier. Let's start with cases. I got two of them here. One is from Moment, then one is most compatible with majority of the adapters, filters and lenses. And the other one is new. That one is from Freewell. Let's start with Moment case. That one is fairly light. It's only 43 grams. I'm going to mention the weight of all the accessories and also the sets because when it comes to smartphone gimbals, the lightweight gimbals, every gram counts. For example, DJI Osmo Mobile 6, maximum payload on that gimbal is only 290 grams. So this case with iPhone 14 Pro is 252 grams. The basic is VND or variable ND filter if you will be filming in manual mode outdoors. You will need that. The lightest filter I have here is this 52 millimeters uh, filter by ProMaster. I, however, don't recommend this one. Although the weight is only 24 grams and it is all in one filter, 229 stop. The problem with this type of filter is that if you darken it a lot, you will see a crosshatch pattern. This one shows it a lot. The only way to avoid it is to always ease up, go step back, always check what you see on the screen. You need to attach the filter to your case somehow. So let's talk about the adapters. I have here Moondog Labs, the first version of their adapter is 52 millimeters. Unfortunately, that one is not working anymore because this part covers the ultra wide angle lens. So the version one is not working anymore. Also, be very careful so you don't accidentally buy on Amazon this small rig 52 millimeters adapter. It's meant for magnetic filters. It's not 52 millimeters thread. The, the filter you cannot attach. Um, the description on Amazon is very misleading. I bought this, then I realized that it's not fitting. I cannot screw it in. And then someone mentioned it in the comments, in the reviews that it is meant for magnetic filters. So don't buy this one. What you should get to make it work is actually the latest, the latest um, adapter, which is Moondog Labs 52 millimeters and it's version three. I'm using this one, looks like this. It also comes with a lens cap, so your lenses can stay dust free. So this filter adapter with the 52 millimeters ProMaster 229 stop variable on the filter, it will give you 280 grams. So if you're gonna be using something like DJ Osmo Mobile 6, you still have 10 grams room for counterweights to balance the gimbal. Better choice when it comes to wearable ND filter would be getting two filters split in half, two to five stop and six to nine stop, because you're not going to get cross hatch pattern. They're split in two. 
I bought both of them from Moment and they are 52 millimeters, just like the Pro Master. They are a tiny bit heavier, 28 grams. So when you mount it on your smartphone, the whole setup is now 285 grams. So you have only five grams to work with if you're gonna be using DJI gimbal. Now in the manual, DJI says, don't go over maximum payload. I pushed it a little bit, I tried it, it was fine. Better choice when it comes to gimbal for this type of setup would be something like Zhiyun Smooth 5 or 5S. That one can handle a bit more of a payload. Let's save it filters before we move on to the other stuff. Freewell recently joined the smartphone filmmaking market. They have launched this whole new system, lots of choices. I haven't had a chance to use it on location yet, so I haven't fully tested it yet. It has a different mounting system, so you have to use their case, which is a little bit heavier than Moment. It is 62 grams. I've had it in my phone for three weeks and I can see that the case already got scratched quite a bit. They also have other mounting options. I have the case. What makes the system very different from the others is that you don't have to fiddle, you know, screw anything on. It is all magnetic. You just snap it on like this. Freewell sent me their new set to test and see if I would like to use it in one of the creative videos or upcoming tutorials. Now, I've got three filters here. One is quarter mist. The other one is CPL or polarizer. And the third one is one to five stop variable ND filter. Now, I haven't tested it yet and I don't know how dark it's gonna get. Normally, because I live in Canada in the summer, we have very bright days. And most of the time I'm using six to nine stop variable ND filter. So I still need to test. I didn't see the other option on their website yet. The filter weight is 42 grams. So the whole setup is now 311 grams. It's heavy. So it is either for handheld filmmaking or you need to use strong gimbal like Zhiyun Smooth 5 or 5S. If you prefer handheld filmmaking, then Freewell also offers in some of their packages this versatile Bluetooth smartphone selfie grip. It can be used as a grip, as a selfie stick, phone stand, you can mount it to tripod, you can mount light or mic at the top. It has a remote which works with all smartphones, which is magnetic and you can move it here or here. You cannot, however, mount a tripod to it at the bottom, so that's the only downside. If you need to really rig it up, you can just grab this Ulanzi PT12 little accessory, attach it to the top, and you can attach a lot more items to it. Last filter sets I have here are from Nissi. I have reviewed them a few months ago. There is no case, just this clamp. What is included in this set is one to five stop VND filter. I tested this set and I clearly saw that on bright days, one to five stop was not enough. I would really need five to nine stop variable ND filter, which was not again included in this package or on their website. There is also quarter black mist filter, gold streaks and blue streaks. I love the fact that you can stack them on top of each other you can have fun with the whole setup. Downside is that they are a bit heavy combined. It is 257 grams, just DVND filter on the clamp. So it's not the lightest setup. If you add it to your smartphone, just the variable ND filter, you will get 257 grams without any smartphone case. Let's talk photography. How many of you love long exposure photos. That's something I really enjoy and I cannot wait to create a tutorial on this one. Before I get to the filters, how do you attach smartphone to a tripod? I love using this Ulanzi clamp. It's ST27. Absolutely love this one. I'm not going to however show you my tripod. There is a lot of duct tape. I simply cannot get rid of this tripod. I've been using it for so many years. It's a great one. I know I need to go to the store and get a new one, but it works. It still holds together. I have Nissi set here for landscape photography. It has ND64, medium, GND, and polarizer filter. It comes with IPA holder and square filter holder. 
I found that I really didn't need the ND64 as there are apps which allow you to take long exposure photos without filter. However, I really love the medium GND and polarizer. It makes a big difference in photos. The sky gets darker and it can take away the reflection. Those I will use in the future long exposure tutorial. Microphones are next and then lenses. First of all, this is a no-go. Don't buy this cheap thing. It does absolutely nothing. I used to use Rode microphone and then I eventually switched to Comica and it was a very good move. I use them pretty much exclusively. I have four sets of microphones from Comica and I know that it's good because once I made the switch, I got many comments from you that the sound is way better. I have recently reviewed these two systems for smartphone filmmaking. I'm using this one pretty much right now exclusively. I started creating these personal vlogs in the VIP area, in the membership area. These are once a month regular, very personal vlogs. So I have to have my phone and microphone with me at all times. If you watched the review video, you know that I said that unfortunately it cannot be used with these cases or small cage as you cannot fully plug it in. Big shout out to Rong who commented below the video and suggested to look up dock extender on Amazon. They were all quite thick, but I finally found this very slim one. So now I can attach the microphone to any case, moment case, free wall case, even a small rig case, and it's gonna work. And now you just plug in the microphone and you are all set. The receiver with this dock extender is only 12 grams, so it is super late. I tried it with DJI Osmo Mobile 6 moment filter and it kind of works like counterweights. I'm two grams over, but it's totally fine. It's very minimal. So this is great with those gimbals where there is no motor close to the port. If you are using gimbals like Zoom Smooth 5 or 5S, where the motor is covering the port, you can use this type of microphone or this newer magnetic version. I personally prefer the previous version, Comica Boom XD Pro 1, for one strong reason. Those transmitters have built-in memory card, so you can record on your smartphone and here at the same time. Double security. You won't lose the sound if you lose connection. The other has this magnetic charging box and also has noise reduction filter built in, so you can turn it on. It is great too. Transmitters are small, so you can hide them easily. You don't really need to use the lavalier. Both can also be used with mirrorless and DSLR cameras. It is up to everyone's personal choices and preferences. To connect it to your phone and then on gimbal, you would use this right angle adapter, this little arm and hot shoe. All right, let's get to lenses. I'm going to start with anamorphic lens and I've got two of them. First one is an anamorphic lens from Freewell. They call it cinemorphic lens, 1.55 times. It is a set which is much cheaper than moment system because you don't need to buy separately filters and adapter. It comes with UV, ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64. These are not magnetic filters, so you need to screw them on. The downside to it is that it is quite heavy. The whole setup is now 341 grams. Anamorphic lenses cannot be used with enhanced stabilization you find in Filmic Pro or ProTake because it creates very wobbly effect around the edges. If you will be filming handheld, then you have to film in high frame rates so you can slow it down to remove the shake or use a bit stronger gimbal. You also need to film in a third-party app where you can disqueeze the footage. If you prefer to go with Moment M mount, then I do have here 1.33 times anamorphic lens from them, much lighter option. If I have no filter attached to this, just the lens, then I'm getting 289 grams. If I add filter adapter and 52 millimeters moment VND filter, I get 333 grams. There is another option when it comes to adding VND filter. If you use big cameras with lenses who use 67 millimeters filters, you can get this adapter to fit it. 
Now, the weight will be obviously a bit more, 345 grams. I am personally always choosing the lightest setup possible. Two more lenses I have here are macro and tele lens. Both of them are for a moment. I absolutely use a lot more the tele lens. It gives me a very different look, kind of like a DSLR. I used it for this fashion shoot. I also used it in video. When it comes to video, the lens of the phone is 326 grams. If you add filter adapter and 67 millimeters VND filter, you will get 378 grams. So this is as heavy setup as you can get. I used it with Zoom Smooth 5. It was working okay. I couldn't do crazy moves, but very simple moves. The gimbal could handle it. Macro lens I used only a few times, not as much though, mainly for photography. This setup is 290 grams. You could do video as well, as it has adapter for VND filter, 67 millimeters. The weight you are going to get is 341 grams. Let's talk about the gimbals. The gimbals I use the most are DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and Zoom Smooth 5S when it comes to filming for this channel. DJI Osmo Mobile 6 I use because it is a big name and you all want me to create videos with it. For advanced filming, I absolutely love Zoom Smooth 5S as it can handle much bigger payloads and it is just so much easier to work with. In my private life and for filming those private vlogs, which I post in membership area in a VIP, I use Hohem iSteady V2 because it has this dedicated tracking lens. I can film myself in cinematic mode in native camera app and the gimbal is tracking me because of this dedicated eye. I can also reposition the frame for tracking. I don't have to be necessary always in a center. I also have a selfie stick with it with a remote. The only thing I don't like about this gimbal though is the user interface, the complex navigation. If you don't remember exactly what each button does, and I don't remember because I have to review so many gimbals and they all work very different. There's just no way for me to remember all those buttons, what everything does. Then you will be pressing lots to get to where you want to get. It's not clearly displayed. I hope this video gave you all the answers you were looking for when it comes to smartphone filmmaking accessories. And now I can return back to filming tutorials and creative videos. Well, give it a thumbs up if you found it informative and Again, don't forget to subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.